to Good Day Sacramento. You are taking a look at Folsom Lake. It is a beautiful day. Now imagine, if you will, this is your office for the day. Coming to work, waking up every single morning to literally just take a view at this beautiful lake here. Ashley Williams in Folsom right now with my good friend Phil Sexton. How are you? Good morning, Ashley. Good and good morning, everybody else. Hi. So if you can. What's so great is the Cal parks are recruiting for rangers and lifeguards so we are here to learn more about exactly what the company is doing. Let, let me be honest so that the rangers don't beat me up i am not a ranger uh -oh. i'm a state park interpreter and and rangers a good colloquial thing but rangers are actually law enforcement officers and they're very important to parks but there's lots of other jobs in parks such as interpreters such as environmental scientists such as park aides as restoration specialists as maintenance specialists all sorts of things in state parks because it's a very complicated and wonderful thing. Perfect. So, but what you guys are doing is you're recruiting and you're looking for specifically rangers and lifeguards. So what exactly are you looking for? Right now we're recruiting for rangers and lifeguards, but we will be recruiting for other things uh, later in the year and, and into the future. But right now the big push is for rangers and lifeguards, lifeguards because it's so important to keep people safe and, and happy in our parks. And what's so really pushing for diversity. Diversity is key. Absolutely. We want the parks to represent or to reflect the diversity that comes through our gates and comes through our doors. And California is a very, very diverse state. So we, we want to hire more women. We want to hire more people of color. We want to hire people of different ethnic and cultural backgrounds so that, so that everybody feels comfortable coming to their parks and they feel like it's part of our home because it really is. It belongs to us, everyone in California. Truly, that's absolutely correct. And also, if you're watching at home and let's say you're 15 or 16 and you're going, Mom, I want my first summer job. Hold off, you might need to wait two more years because you do need to be 18 years of age, correct? Right, and that was exactly me. I grew up at a time when I watched the Lassie TV show, which was had a forest ranger in it. And from about 16 on, I, I thrived. I wanted to be a forest ranger. And I've been very lucky at being able to do those things and to have a place like this as my office. It's wonderful. You know what's so funny? You brought up Lassie. Tina, Canby, you remember Lassie? Who doesn't remember Lassie? That's a really good example. What would you say is another good example from a TV, um, TV show perspective that people might be able to relate to? <laughs> Lassie was a good one. Let's see what if you could throw another one out. Well, there's all sorts of silly ones. There was once a TV show called High Mountain Rangers on one summer that was a terrible TV show. <laughs> it was a lot of fun. But things like Grizzly Adams and all sorts mm -hmm. of things that happen in the outdoors have just been really big influences for people in my generation. Absolutely. And, and today, social media and getting out in the woods and being in places like this on live TV is equally, yeah. I think, inspiring to younger people. Speaking of social media, we're going to have to go ahead and do that. Also, coming up in the next hour, though, we're going to hop into the State Park Patrol boat and take a ride and talk to another officer about exactly what it takes to be a lifeguard and ranger. Tina and Camby, back over to you. Sounds good. Thanks, Ashley. The deadline is Thursday. LiveTheParksLife.com. Avoid a fashion emergency of your own.